Lesson 2.11, multiply three or four digit numbers by one digit with regrouping. We can use regrouping to multiply a one digit factor by a factor with many digits. We start on the right side with the ones place, then the tens, then the hundreds, then the thousands. We regroup when the product in any place is 10 or more. Here we have 1,457 times 6. We start with the ones place and do 6 times 7. That's 42. We put the 4 in the tens place and the 2 in the ones place. Then we do 6 times 5, which is 30. We add the 4 more that were regrouped. We have 34. We regroup the 3 to the hundreds place and put the 4 down in the tens place. We have 6 times 4, which is 24 and three more is 27. We regroup the two to the one thousands place and put the seven in the hundreds place. Then we do six times the one, the one thousand, which is six. We add the two more, which is eight. We have 8,742. We write the regrouped number in the column above the next greater place value, see? We then multiply to that column and add the regrouped amount to the partial product. Turning a sheet of lined paper sideways will help us keep our place value straight. We can keep the ones place in the ones place, see? So just turn your paper sideways. Before we multiply, we can estimate the product to know what a reasonable product should be. We learned about estimating in video 2.4, and there's a link in the description. If we round our factor to the next digit to the left, our estimate will be more accurate. For example, here we have 1,234 times 5. This, 2, tells the 1 to stay the same. They all become zeros, so it rounds to 1,000. We do 5 times 1,000, that's 5,000. But if we round to this two place value, the hundreds, the three tells the two to stay the same, then they become zeros. We have 1,200. When we multiply five to 1,200, we do five times zero is zero. Five times this zero is zero. Five times two is 10. We regroup the one, put the zero down here, then we do five times one, which is five, and add the one more, which is six, we get 6,000. See the difference in the estimates? One is 5,000, one is 6,000. And when we do the actual problem, 1,234 times five, we start with the ones place. Five times four is equal to 20. We regroup the two, put the zero down. Five times three is 15, plus two more is 16, 17. We regroup the one, put the seven down. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 more is 11. We regroup the 1, put the 1 down, and 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 more is 6. We have 6,170. And by rounding to the hundreds place here, instead of the thousands place, our estimate was more accurate. See, it's closer to the actual amount. Here we have 682 times 7. The 8 tells the 6 to go up to a 7, then they become 0, so it rounds to 700. When we do 7 times 700, we have 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 7 is 49, we have 4,900. But if we round our 682, 682 to the tens place, then the 2 tells the 8 to stay the same, and it becomes a 0, so it rounds to 680. Now we do seven times zero, which is zero, seven times eight, which is 56. We regroup the five and put the six down. Seven times six is 42, plus five more is 47. We have 4,760. And when we do the actual product, we do seven times two, which is 14. We regroup the one and put the four down. We do seven times eight, which is 56. One more is 57. We regroup the five and put the seven down. Seven times six is 42, plus five more is 47. And our actual answer is 4,774. And look how close our estimate is compared to 
when we rounded to the hundreds place. So by rounding to the tens place, instead of the hundreds place, our estimate is more accurate. We can tell how many digits will be in the product from an estimate. We have 528 times 6. The 2 tells the 5 to stay the same. We get 500 when we round it. We multiply 500 times 6. That's 3,000. We have four digits. Knowing how many digits are supposed to be in the product can be helpful in case we made a regrouping error. So multiplying 528 times 3 with a regrouping error, we have 3 times 8, and instead of putting for the 24, instead of putting the 2 up here, the person accidentally wrote the 24 down here. Then when they did 3 times 2, they got 6 and they wrote it down here. We ended up with 5 digits instead of 4 digits. So this is wrong. They were supposed to regroup and put that 2 up here, weren't they? If there is a regrouping error, there may be too many digits in the product. Now we have a problem that involves a table. So let's look at the table first. It says vacation packages. It's got the type, package A, package B, and package C. And there's prices for adults and prices for children. And the problem says Mr. Lee, his wife, and their three children are going on vacation about how much is the cost if they chose package B. So we need to estimate, it said about how much, so that tells us we're just looking for an estimate. So we need to estimate 989 times two for the adults, Mr. Lee and his wife, and 699 times three because of the three children. We have two adults at $989 each, $989 rounds to $1,000, so we have $1,000 times two, that's $2,000. We have three children, they're $699 each, 699 rounds to $700. We multiply it by three and we get $2,100. So that's the price for the adults and children. We need to add them for a total. We do 2,000 plus 2,100, we get $4,100. So remember, because dollars were part of the problem, we have to remember the dollar sign in our answer. Now we have the exact same table with the exact same amounts, except now I've added some other colors to help us. It says compare the total cost of package B and package C for Mr. Lee's family. So we need to do $989 times two adults, then we need to do $699 times the three children, and then we need to add them together to get our actual total for package B. We start with the ones place, two times nine is equal to 18. We regroup the one and put the eight down. Two times eight is 16, plus one more is 17. We regroup the one and put the seven down. Two times nine is equal to 18, plus one more is 19. We have $1,978 for the adults. For the children, we have three times nine, which is 27. We regroup the two and put the seven down. Three times nine is 27 again, but now we have a regrouped two, so that's 29. We regroup the two and put the nine down. We have three times six, which is three times 600, isn't it? That gives us 18, 1920. We put the two comma zero nine seven. So the children cost is $2,097. For the total cost for package B, we add the $1,978 to the $2,097. Eight plus seven is 15. We regroup the one, put the five down. Nine plus seven plus one, we have a friendly pair here of a nine and a one that makes a 10 and seven more is 17. We put the one up here, we put the seven down here, we have nine, 10, we regroup the one, put the zero down, we have two, three, four. We have $4,075 for package B for Mr. Lee's family. Now we need to do package C. Now we need to find the amount for package C. 
we have two adults at 849 so we have $849 times two. We have three children at $589 each, so we have 589 times three. We do nine times two, which is 18. We regroup the one and put the eight down. We have two times four, which is eight, plus one more is nine. We put the nine down. We have two times eight, which is 16. That's $1,698 for the adults. Now for the children, we do three times nine, which is 27. We regroup the two, put the seven down. We have three times eight, which is 24, and two more is 26. We regroup the two, put the six down. We have three times five, which is 15, plus two more is 17. For the children, we have $1,767. We need a total, so we're gonna add these two together for the whole family, and we add 1,698 and 1,767, and we get $3,465. Now we need to find the difference between package B and package C. Now that we have the totals, we can do 4,075 minus 3,465, and we see that the difference between the two packages is $610. So this problem wasn't difficult, it just had a lot of steps to it. And the steps weren't that hard, there were just a lot of them. We needed to multiply to find the adult prices, multiply to find the children's prices, then add them together for package B, then multiply for the adult prices again, multiply for the children's prices, then add them to each other, then we had to subtract one amount from the other to find the difference between the two packages. The product of a three-digit number and a one-digit number can be three digits or four digits. It can be three digits or four digits. It depends on the factors of the greatest place value and the regrouped numbers. It depends on both of those. So here we have a two times a 100 well, we're still gonna be around 200, so we're gonna have three digits. But look for this one. We have a three digit times a one digit, and when we do six times eight, we get 48. And because there's numbers regrouped, that's gonna put us into four digits. Here we have an eight times a 100, and you may think, well, that's just gonna be 800 something, but because we have regrouped numbers that we're adding to it, it's gonna put us into the thousands, and we'll have four digits. So rounding and estimating will quickly show us how many digits the product has. The product of a four digit number and a one digit number can be four digits or five digits. To know how many digits there are, it's a lot quicker to use estimation. The two tells the one to stay the same, so we estimate it to be 1,000. 1,000 times two is 2,000. That's four digits. For 7,925, the nine tells the seven to go up to an eight. So we have seven times 8,000. And remember, however many zeros are in the factor is however many there will be in the product. So we can just do seven times eight, which is 56, and add the three zeros that are in this factor we have 56,000, that's five digits. For this one, the nine tells the one to go up to a two, they all become zeros, so we can multiply 2,000 times seven, which is 14,000, and we can quickly see there are five digits. It's much quicker than having to multiply each place value to get the actual amount. By estimating, we can quickly see how many digits are supposed to be in the product. Butte, Montana is 1,704 miles from Atlanta, Georgia, and 2,099 miles from Bangor, Maine. So what is the difference in the round trip distances between Butte and the other two cities? So be careful because round trip means there and back. So we should multiply the, each distance by two. To go there and back from Butte, Montana to Atlanta, Georgia, we would do 1,704 times two. And from Butte, Montana to Bangor, Maine, we would do 2,099 miles times two. 
1704 times 2. We start with the 1's place. 2 times 4 is 8. Now we do 2 times 0. Well, that's a 0, so we put a 0 in the 10's place. 2 times 7 is 14. We regroup the 1 and put the 4 down. And 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. We have 3,408 miles for Butte, Montana to Atlanta, Georgia round trip. Now we do it from Bangor, Maine. We have 2,099 times 2, starting in the 1's place. We have 2 times 9, which is 18. We regroup the 1 and put the 8 down. We have 2 times 9, which is 18 again. But now we have that 1 regrouped 1, so we have 19. We put the 1 up here and put the 9 down here. We have 2 times 0, which is 0. And when we add 1 to it, we have a 1. Then 2 times 2 is 4. We have 4,198 for the distance between Bangor, Maine and Butte, Montana. It wants to know the difference between them. So we do the 4,198 minus the 3,408, and we see the difference between the round trips is 790 miles. So remember, each digit that we multiply by will make a partial product. When we do 7 times the two 1s and get 14 1s, that 14 is a partial product. When we do 7 times the 3 10s, we get 21 10s, so we have 210 as a partial product. And we can actually add these partial products together, couldn't we? We'd have 224 as the answer to that equation. This one says, what number is 130 more than the product of 7 and 3,689? So we think, well, the product of 7 and 3,689 means some number, some product, is equal to 7 times 3,689. We need to find 130 more than the product, so we have 7 times 3,689. We do in the parentheses first, and then we would add 130, and that would be the answer. We do 3,689 times 7, starting in the 1's place. We have 7 times 9 is 63. We regroup the 6 and put the 3 down. We do 7 times 8, which is 56, plus 6 more is 62. So we regroup the 6 and put the 2 down. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 6 more is 48. We regroup the 4, put the 8 down. Now we have 7 times 3, which is 21, plus 4 more is 25. We have 25,823 for what was in the parentheses. But we need 130 more, so we add 130 to our product and get 25,953. That is 130 more than the product of 7 and 3,689. So remember to keep your place value straight, and you can turn your paper sideways to help you do that. And don't forget to add those regrouped numbers in the next column. For our next lesson, 2.12, we're going to do multi-step word problems with multiplication using equations. We're going to see how to write those equations. Have a really nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.